Hi guys, my name is Ivan and today I am going to talk with you about trick circle or unit circle, about its main idea and why it's so great. Okay, let's start. Let me introduce the screen. So the unit circle or the trick circle, what is it about? Let's examine step by step, but first of all I would like to tell that up to my experience it is one of the most complicated um, topics among math, school math, and at the same time it's not so scary. It's quite nice and fun and very logical and it is about defining science and cosines and tangents and cotangents and other trick functions and it gives us possibility to, to go out of the right triangles only, okay? So first of all, why is it unit? Because the radius is one unit, exactly. Let me draw it, one unit radius. From here, we have one unit radius. Radius is equal to one. Okay. Let's have an angle which horizontal side would be starting in the origin, okay? In the origin here. And the terminal side, we call it, would be somewhere here, let's see. Something like that, okay? And the angle itself, if I draw it, would be this one. Let's call it angle alpha, okay? This Greek letter, alpha. Alpha and omega. It's alpha, so we are going to have great journey to omega. In order to connect the idea of the unit circle with the idea of right triangles and sines and cosines, let's make some kind of triangle here. We don't see it, but in case we just draw the vertical line, which would be which would be the height okay in this triangle we already see yeah it's some kind of right triangle okay let me call the vertical side the a side let me make it more more bold okay a side here and let us call the horizontal side B side. These are the legs of our right triangle, A and B. And the hypotenuse, usually we call it C, let's, let's follow this pattern, A, B, C, okay? Two legs and hypotenuse. If we want to define the sign of alpha from this drawing or from this triangle, what will it be? So sine alpha, by the definition, sine alpha is the ratio of the opposite leg of the right triangle. Opposite means opposite to the angle itself, okay? If we're talking about alpha, then opposite is A. So the opposite leg of the right triangle, A, in ratio to the hypotenuse, which is C. But stop, let's remember, this is unit circle. And unit circle is the circle where radius is one, yeah? And C is hypotenuse, but at the same time, it's radius, means C is one. In this case, in the denominator of this fraction, we have one. And miraculously, our sign becomes A, okay? Our sign becomes A. It's not just a concept. It's not just a ratio. It's visible segment in this picture, okay? That's why the unit circle is genius idea, which makes us able to see science, to see science for our life, to see science in geometry sense. Let's examine about cosines. So cosines alpha 
by definition, is the ratio of the adjacent leg, which is B here, right? Adjacent to the angle again, and hypotenuse. B to hypotenuse. But hypotenuse is 1. Means B over 1. But that's just B. That's just B. Let it be. Now we can see the cosines as well in this triangle, in this triangle and in this circle. Let's talk about tangents and cotangents later. But now let's look at this circle from one more viewpoint. So we could move this terminal side of the angle, this blue one, move it and rotate it and see what would happen. I don't like this black. Let's make it, let's make it like this anyway. If we are going down, yeah, we could have bigger cosines and smaller sines, right? If we go up, we have bigger sines and smaller cosines. If we go to the back, if we go backwards, uh -huh, it doesn't rotate backwards somehow. It should, but it doesn't. Uh, but anyway, we'll have again sines and cosines here. In the trig circle, we're not defining sine and cosine only in terms of some ratio in triangle. We're defining it in a new way. It's the projection of the terminal side of the angle, either to the vertical axis or to the horizontal axis. If I, simply speaking, draw this horizontal line to complete the rectangle here, then I would see that this A vertical uh, segment is exactly the same if we draw it here, okay, to the left. But to the left, it's projection of this um, terminal side of the angle to the vertical side. So the projections to the vertical side are the sines. The projections to the horizontal side or on the horizontal side are cosines. In the sense, we could say that horizontal axis is the axis of cosines. And the vertical axis is the axis of sines. Okay? And let me maybe just ask you, and you could think, and we'll come back to this question in the next videos. What is the greatest value of sine in this big picture of trig circle? Which is the greatest value of sine? Which is the smallest uh, value of sine? Which is the greatest value of cosine? Which is the smallest value of cosine? Okay, let's discuss it later. You could think about it now. Let me finish on this point for today's short lesson and we'll continue in the next meetings i wish you all the best in all your studies in math of course in physics and in all kinds of things which you are interested in and please enjoy your life see you bye bye